A deadly virus breaks out and is spreading fast. What is your first move? Make sure my antivirus software is up to date. Take car. Grab mum. Kill Phil. Sorry Phil. Get Liz. Then go to the Winchester. Have a nice cold pint and wait for it all to blow over. Edit. I knew the abnormal amount of times watching this movie would pay off one day. Get shot and wake up in a hospital several weeks later. It's the only logical move. Tok. Ilaska. It's about a 5 hour drive from where I live. Plenty of fish. Bears. Moose. Caribou. Rabbits. Sheep. Waterfowl. And fresh water. My father-in-law has a large cabin. Guest cabin. And shop with fuel. Adves. Tools. Weapons. Ammo. Ammo loading. A shitload of books. And all the hunting camping gear you could ever want. Plenty of timber to use as fuel. Edit. A word. I'd move to Madagascar or Greenland of course. Be realistic about your chance of survival and try and die in a way which confuses future archaeologists. I would activate my contingency plan for unforeseen nationwide troubles. The only good place to hide. Whether there is a virus spreading. A world war or a zombie outbreak. Is a well equipped sailboat. You can travel all over the world to whichever place conditions are most favorable. In case of either a zombie apocalypse or world war. Food shortages become the most serious problem. Even if you are out of the war zone. There is always plenty of food in the oceans. You're as safe as you'll ever be. If you want to get on some island. It's easy to observe it for a while from a distance to see if it's safe to enter. When there is trouble you can get out quickly. Eventually you might be able to survive on a remote uninhabited island. Once things have returned to normal. You or your descendants can return to mainland. Put a 357 bullet through my skull. Throw on a P100 respirator. With one of the dozens of cartridges I have sitting around. I'm honestly not very worried about a deadly virus with a short incubation time that spreads fast. The one that worries me is the deadly one with a slow incubation time. That doesn't get any public attention before everyone is infected. Create the following subreddits for the survivor community. So are off in a bullet. Something you want to get off your chest during the pandemic. So are infection watch. A version of our susaduac. But to prevent suicidal people from throwing themselves into a horde of infected or giving themselves up to other hostile survivors. So are random acts of ammo. A way to pay it forward. By giving away ammo. What other way can you spread happiness during a post-apocalyptic hell? So are apex cooking. A way for people to share and experiment foods using a slow cooker. Water generator. Wild animals. And canned goods. So are BATNDTZ. A way for bandits to connect and plan raids on the unsuspecting college students down at the barricaded Imca. So are ASKA server. A version of our credit. So are Zomzum NSFW. I think you get the idea. So are meetup. A way for fellow redditors to meet up and form an alliance. Edit. Our Aska server is now open and ready to be experimented with. Edit 2. Our random acts of ammo is now created and is a private subreddit. What the fuck? If it were ever like the movies. There's is always one with an antidote. I'll find that person. Hunt him down. I would bathe in chicken fat. Whilst having a fat. Get up. Put on my scrubs. Grab my emergency N90 mask and keep as many people alive for as long as I can. I put myself in the way of sickness all the time. Not gonna abandon you fuckers because it's a little worse this time. What's the first thing you do if? Double quote. Masturbate. The answer is always masturbate. Two chicks at the same time. Load up on non-perishables. Grab a toolbox full of tools and a weapon. Pick up the wife and steal a boat from the harbor. Using my GPS. Which is still working. It's only early days in the catastrophe. I sail out to a remove island near the tropics. 
Enjoy the rest of my days as a farmer hunter where I raise three kids who are carriers for the disease but not infected per se. Eventually. Maybe not in my lifetime. Help comes and my kids return to rebuild the shattered remnants of our planet. Edit. I may grab the 200k microscope from work and in my spare time cure the disease as I have studied infectious diseases at university. Head out to the family farm. My dad is pretty sure Obama is the antichrist and is preparing for the end so he's pretty stocked up on food. Water and guns. If it's airborne. A gas mask or oxygen tank. If it's through infection like zombies. Get to a secluded location with lots of vantage points and stock up beforehand with some buddies. If it's through touch. Gloves should work. Either scenario. Just get the FCK out of wherever it is you are and only associate with people on the same mentality level as you otherwise you get coupéed up with dumbasses who will endanger you. Use my key to gain access to the grocery store across the road in the dead of night. Stockpile food and cat food. And just stay in my house chilling out in the aircon. Watching TV and movies. If it kills me. It kills me. Might as well live a relaxing few more days before it does. Also. I'd finally give that boy what he wants and let him FCK me. Deny that it exists. Ronald Reagan. Get to Madagascar before they close the port. Wank. Straight away. Hold my breath for as long as I can. Yeah you'll be infected for sure. Colon. Open bracket. Wear my respirator. Eventually it'll be useless. Sure. But it has a beck and particle filters. So it should protect me for a while. Then. Raid a shop. Get as much bottled water as I can fit in my car. And some nibbles. A few tins of baked beans should do. Fruits and veg will have to wait until everyone else is dead. How fast does this virus act? I'd stock up enough for two weeks. A bottle of water a day should last. Multiply by two for boiling. Then a few for hygiene. About 40 liters of water. Then. I'd get home. Board up the windows. And hope nobody tries to break in because I don't have a gun. I probably patient zero. Considering recent luck. So. Spread it to as many people as possible. Because I'm a DCK and misery loves company. If it is a zombie virus my plan is simple. 1. Overdose on steroids. 2. Get bitten. 3. Become special infected and or boss mob. Move to Madagascar. Pandemic says if it didn't stop there then it will never reach there. Shut my blinds. Lock the door. And prepare for a Starcraft marathon. Find Nick Cage. He'll know what to do. Shit in a box and accept my fate. Well. Doc always says get plenty of rest and drink lots of fluids for a virus. Problem solved. 1. Collect go bag and go box. 2. Throw in all spare fuel cans 3. Collect family and drive north 4. Reprovision at cash 3 hours south of Canada 5. Disappear into Canadian wilderness. 1. Obtain virus. 2. Infect everyone I hate. 3. Laugh. Move to Madagascar before the ports close. KFC. On least time. KFC. Then I can die a happy man. 1. E4. It's all cool. I live by the river. Kill everyone I don't like. I promise I thought they were infected. I just wanted to put them out of their misery. Double quote. Assuming the virus is airborne. First move. Hardware store. Get massive respirator, I know it's not rated for viruses. But it should at least help some. Make sure I get a bunch of extra filters. Get plastic and duct tape. Second move. Get a grocery store. Buy as much food as I can. Stockpile essentials. Flour. Fuck buying bread. I'll make my own. Carbon filters for water. Powdered milk. 
canned goods, butter, frozen goods, and soap. Third move. Home. Seal all the windows. Get my brother over to help. Tell him to bring his guns. Food and ammo. His cats can live in the basements for now. Start watching the news obsessively and live like a hermit. Depending on state of the world. Either go to work. Or stay home and live like a hermit for a few weeks until it all blows over or I'm forced to leave the house to find food. Same thing anyone would do in any catastrophic event. Start printing Wikipedia articles to save the summation of human knowledge. Also start downloading the site to a hard drive so I can continue printing if it goes down. Madagascar. Install malware and AVG to protect my computer. Not go to Atlanta. Get down to Atlanta. Find a boat. Go out on my boat and don't look back. Sell 500 sulfur and 1000 semiconductor. Their value only goes down with time. Buy 1000 wood. And 2000 iron. They needed to produce machinery I will need. Well I don't really leave the house much. So stay the course.